got 30 seconds. Set key. Replicate. We're going to review it. Get ready. It's going to be the bomb. I apologize for that 90s reference. That happens some days. This game came out before the 90s. In the 80s. 81? I don't know. 80, yeah, I think 81, 82. 82. Early 80s, I know that for sure. The 80s. They were good times. What do you think, Matt? Were they the best of times or the worst of times? Well, better than worse, but... They were very... I didn't come for money, and we I, didn't have I'll much of this. it. Even though I was born in 85, they were simple times. <laughs> they were simple times. So, yeah, there's there's the centipede. The centipede, was. this was the first... This was the first by one. Replicate. Yep. The first uh, installment of the series of two. That's what it takes to make a series two. Sorry for Mike's shiny forehead. We are dealing with lighting issues. Can we turn this on, or we gotta power it up? Let me check it real quick. Oh, oh no, the power button. Well, that's that's an advantage because we didn't show that. Like these are powered by micro USB. Oh, we got a spare battery. We can use batteries too. Yes. So if you give it a second here, let me plug it in over here. This ball is phenomenal. <laughs> you said ball. <laughs> He's caressing your ball. <laughs> it's so. it's nice and it feels like a cue ball, a mini cue ball. You almost don't feel like it's spinning. Oh, he's got it on. Actually, that's showing us the charger screen. Let's go ahead and hit that button in the back. If you didn't catch our previous video, uh, the button to turn on is on the back. Power, volume, speaker, charger cable. It's pretty simple. It is nicely made. I say the artwork is really good on these on these devices. They're well done. Pretty accurate. That is the accurate what about the bezel? Is that everything? Yeah, shape the bezel. of the cab. The uh, uh, marquee is lit up perfectly. The instructions are. I mean, you get a magnifying glass, you're going to be able to read it. <laughs> Seriously. And if you did miss our last video, we did the Mini Tempest. Yeah. So you can go and check that out. It's the same way. You just. Coin door opens coin up. Door opens up, and then you just coin it up just like the Tempest. That, that coins up. That gives you credit by pushing the coin. And if you push the other one, it gives you settings so you can change it. Now I know why Zach mm -hmm. pushed stars earlier to try to get a coin up. Sorry, buddy. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> got the distinctive cone buttons known for the Ataris in the beginning. The, the grommets. The grommets. <laughs> Was he in like Lord of the Rings? No. Is it the one ring to rule ball? <laughs> <laughs> the grommets! <laughs> Alright, this ball feels wonderful. Let's get to some gameplay. <laughs> Why are we on a test screen? <laughs> Who so, check, check out this cool test screen for four hours. Alright, well, how do I get that? Well, Here, let me see it. I'm going to let the owner operate it. He never should have hit the test screen videos. anyway. This one coins it up, and this one makes it do something I don't know what it does. <laughs> Hey, I'm learning as I'm going here. You can actually change the sensitivity on the trackball, too. That light is extremely bright, Matthew. And then on top well, of that, we didn't mention you can change the backlight of the LCD screen. Oh, really? Screen. Excellent. And you have the option to actually turn off the marquee if you want. Which, why would you do that? Save battery? I don't know. If you're playing in the dark? Well, no, because you'd still see the screen. So, yeah. You could change the backlight on the screen, though, too. Make it dimmer, so your mom doesn't know you're playing it. Yeah, I bet it's pretty bright if you're trying to play incognito. You still can't get out of it. Okay, I got it. I say turn it, it off. Yeah, we didn't go through the options on the baby tempest. Get it out. We're not trying to do that one again. <laughs> We're never gonna get the centipede gameplay. Baby Crowded Channel. That's coming up soon. What? What's your other one? No, uh, it's 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 the third installment in Galaga. 
That's not the third. That's the first one. Yeah, I know that. Anyway, it's credited up, ready to go. Give it a oh, shot. Oh, excellent. Okay. All right, if you don't know this game, it was featured in the movie Pixels. Yes. It's the first time I ever played it. And Stranger Things. And I'm sure, like, no. countless 80s movies. There was a James Bond movie that had, like, millions of these. Oh, movies. It says 1980s, so we we're all wrong in the beginning. Oh Your face isn't in it anymore. I've Excellent. zoomed in. I have saved the crowd of my facial features. Until you zoom in, until you. Now we can see your giant nose and usually. Hey, hey, hey. That's your opinion, man. A reflection Ooh, of your, very, uh, your dome. Am I shooting? There you go. I don't think the button's working here. You were, shoot, you were shooting. You were shooting. It feels. It, I remember, can see this it. This is the first one they brought out. I don't think they perfected the buttons yet like they did with this. Oh, it's not as responsive. I mean, and then the, the ball is almost too responsive. I hate it when the ball is too responsive. You can change that, he said. Oh, you can? Yeah, there's settings. You hear the. the, the low. You can hear it shooting. I can't see it shooting. I can see it on camera. It's not very. Very bright. It's probably because of the light in the room. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I can see it on camera. I mean, it's not easily seen, but... Well... Now I can see it better. You say you can adjust the sensitivity of, of a trackball? Yeah. Okay. I'm just holding the button down because it is, st I mean, it still registers when I do press it, so it's a little firmer than the Tempest button, definitely, and I, I can't see my shots. And the button's firm and the ball's loose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that seems to be the issue at this point. And the graphics are a little smaller. I mean, maybe my eyes have gotten worse as the night has progressed. But uh, I think it looks. I think it looks. See. It looks good. No, I think it looks exactly like the original. Oh, I'm. I, I it's a little tough that. to see on the camera, but I think I think we're a little more biased because we all like Tempest more. Uh, Tempest is definitely nicer. And we, it's sitting it's right sitting there. It's sitting right next to us. And it's not like we have a centipede we can I will, actually I will see Yeah, we don't, have a, we don't have a cabinet to compare. I mean, we yeah. have a 16 one centipede, but no, no trackball. I got a six, I got a centipede cab downstairs, but that was nuked as an idea to show you. It's a relief picture, but that's a sweet game. Sweet. <laughs> but it has nothing to do with I will centipede. Say, I will say this with comparing to remember playing this as a kid. It is pretty darn close. There is one. It there's is one at the neutral close. zone, and I play it. I wouldn't say a lot, but I do. Play I remember it. playing it a lot. Like at, in Belva, the Lincoln Theater, they had an arcade downstairs. They had a centipede, and it plays just like. And it. as long as you can adjust the speed on the trackball, you can just oh, adjust yeah. it to your preference. I definitely like the feel of it. The trackball has weight, and with the size and everything. It, it yeah, really it feels impressed. really smooth. It, it it feels like the real deal. Or almost better. As close as it can be. Yeah, a lot closer than the spinner here. The spinner's good. I mean, it's reactive. It works. You don't get the analog activity. But, I mean, if I had to own one, it'd be the Tempest. But this is still, if you're a Centipede fan, you got to own this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's and no question. Funny little story uh, in our group for St. Louis Retro Gamers. Uh, the Christmas thing that we do every year it seems like we're doing like giveaways and mm -hmm. I had a challenge and I took this to two plumbers and you had to play on it and get a high score whoever had a high score got my prizes oh, really? <laughs> yeah it was really cool I had a, we had, with that we actually had a lot of people show up they were very interested that's cool and it, even people I missed who were, that one myself who, yeah I know but the people who weren't even in our group and walk over like, is that a centipede? Mm -hmm. And they come over and play it. They're like, oh my God, this is so cool. <laughs> Either way, the concept that, that New Wave Toys is doing is really cool. I like it. And I'm willing to buy more if they make ones that I really want. Yeah. And we can touch on that again. And we did in the last video. Oh, yeah. Street Fighter, Asteroids, and Dragon's Lair, we yeah. think, are the next ones the that are next coming, out. coming out. For initial releases... They're they're excellent. Um, if you would compare them to like say the one up arcade initial releases, I mean it, I'd rather own one of these than one of those. Now I haven't played the newer version, the MK, the 
multi MK and or the neither have I. Golden tea. Golden tea. Yeah, yeah, I haven't even seen the golden tea yet. So I, I won't comment on those yet because I've, I've heard that the the new versions, um, the Better. MK is, is is a lot more fluid and, and maybe even close to the real deal. We'll be able to judge it because we got the real deal downstairs. So. Um, stay Friend, tuned for that. Eventually. Friends of ours that are in the arcade community, they they like them. They vouch the for newer them, ones. So, um, I, I hate to hear that because <laughs> three hundred bucks. That is a, I mean, an MK board nowadays. You're paying what five six hundred dollars for the board? Well, it's not that steep yet. It's not like Turtles or Simpsons oh, or God. crazy like that. But an MK one's going for. 150, 200, MK2 is 3, MK3 is 3, MK4, 250. We're getting off topic. And anyway. Yeah. <laughs> For right, some, yeah, something, like, to... something like this, you put on your desk or you have something to present on, on a shelf. Great little addition to your collection. That's what we pay Matt for, to keep us on topic because yeah. you never know where we'll go. <laughs> We could just go live and talk for four hours about arcades. Go in space. We've been trying to pull that for years. Nobody wants to hear us. No one wants to see a podcast. <laughs> there's, plenty, there's plenty of them out there. Oh, yeah. Besides, I mean, if, if Steve actually participated, then, it, then he'd be in more episodes than Zach is. Oh, yeah. Surprisingly, <laughs> I'm here. And that's the other thing, too, I didn't get to mention. Look, it's Mike and Zach. We're both here. Oh, in, the, yes. in the video together. They, I'm replacing They aren't the same person... I'm, I'm replacing Matt with another redhead. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, well, that's not red. He's got a red beard. Got a red beard. That, you fooled me. I'm sorry. You're Tom Foolery. <laughs> you got a red beard too, Mike. That's true. So, so how about in conclusion, you, you said you would get the Tempest more than you would with the Centipede. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. definitely. Well, I'm not a Centipede fan. I mean, I play it. It's fun. It's neat uh, to have. I'd rather play Burger Time. Um, Tempest. I didn't play it until I bought one. Because uh, my woman is my my fiance's favorite. She has no, she's Any final thoughts? Buy these. Mm. Depends if you really like them, but if anything, if you want, if you find them now, these were uh, yeah. they're, limit, they're limited. Limited release, quantities. so um, yeah. If, you, if you're a fan and you can pick one up, especially for a hundred bucks or less, or definitely, yeah, I wouldn't hesitate. I mean, I, I'd get this for I pay. Seventy-five. 70. Yeah, <laughs> you're not gonna get it for that. You never know. It's like, oh, they're in limited quantities. It's gonna be hard to find. Like, I'll when, pay half price. When I bought this one, when I bought the Tempest, it was 120, and I bought the Centipede for 100. No, that's not bad. So it's not too bad. So, but they're they're nice little collections that I have. All right. I, thanks for tuning in, and like we said, we got a couple more little dudes we're gonna uh, bargain review. My got, arcade. Got them cheap. It, it's it's more expensive than basic fun, but not the upper echelon yeah, we're talking of <laughs> mini arcades. This this is yeah. If if you had to rate um, like like pinballs, what's the best pinball? The premium or the the pro? Or well, there there's also a, there's also quarter edition. scale that we haven't reviewed that are even um, bigger than these. Okay, so I guess we can't make that judgment. Yet. I know somebody who These has one. I can't remember who it is. As at this point, easily T until we see that down. one. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed enjoyed checking them out because I know you've been be begging me to bring them over. For so. sure. So. I'll and see you out. Yeah, we're gonna cue Mike. Here he comes. What did you think about that video? Did you like that video? I loved it. Was I not in it? Well, did I love that? better been in that video. I hope you liked the video. It was definitely my best work. If I'm not in that video, you better watch this one over here. Oh, if you're not going to do that, just subscribe. You'll get a notification. Bye.